All right, I hope you came up with a lot of good reasons to say which one is your favorite, chocolate bar or a lollipop. And yesterday I forgot to have you write your topic sentence. So if you did that, great. If not, we're doing it today. So you need to pay, find page 19 in your writing journal. If you are just joining us for this week, it should still have a 19 on it, but it will not be in a writing journal. All right, so um, I'm, I'm gonna use one of these starters up here. Did you notice this? It says, I think the best if I had, um, I'm gonna say if I had a chocolate bar, I would be happy. Oh yes. If I had a, and you know what? If you wanna know how to spell it, did you notice it's on the next page of our journal? If you want to make sure you get it right, what there, right there, we have chocolate bar and we have lollipop. So, okay. If I had a chocolate bar, I would be happy. Oh my goodness, is Mrs. Strimke using her best handwriting here? Not really, am I? You know what? I can still read it, so that's important. But this is your rough draft, remember? If you make a spelling mistake, it's okay. We're going to work on it. If you forget capitals and spaces and periods, it's okay. We're going to work on it. Because Mrs. Strimke definitely did not use her good handwriting on that one. So I've got, I wrote down three good things that I like about chocolate bars over here. So today we're doing our details. Um, if you have out your marker, your highlighting markers, this is gonna be your green right up here. That's your topic sentence. Now we're gonna tell them why. So if you've got your highlighters, now you need your yellow highlighter right there because all these sentences are yellow. All right. Um, I put melts in your mouth. Can I just write melts in your mouth over here? No, I need to put it in a real sentence. Um, I could put, let's see, if I had a chocolate bar, I would be happy. Chocolate melts in your mouth. And you know what? The only word I need to add is chocolate because I have all the rest of those words over there. Chocolate. I am going to try to use a space this time. If I forget, it's okay because this is my rough draft, but I am going to try. Melts in your mouth. Okay. The next one says smells good. Let's see. I wonder if I can make that a little more exciting. It smells, oh, I'm going to use the word heavenly. There is nothing better than the smell of chocolate and coffee at the same time. Your parents know what I'm talking about. It smells, oh, I already wrote smells, so I can copy that one. Heavenly, ooh, that's kind of a hard word to spell, isn't it? Heavenly, oh. It says E at the end, but it's really a Y, isn't it? it? Smells heavenly. And oh, I put on here, this is one of my, you can't see that, can you? I wrote this yesterday. Add it to ice cream. I, chocolate is delicious, but you could do so much with it. I actually add mine to coffee too, but I figure kids probably don't do that. Um, let's see, I add it to, sometimes if I'm baking, you can put chunks of chocolate in there. You're doing cookies you could put chocolate chips it's not the same as a chocolate bar but it's pretty close all right so i'm gonna put you can add it to ice cream oh yum it's making me hungry you can oh, power words add add oh bonus letter it to 
ice. That's kind of a hard word to spell. Look at that. That E kicks the I and makes it say its name. And then it's a soft C. So it's not ick, not Ike. It's ice. Mm. Ice cream. Cur E. Oh, and there's a vowel team. Oh my gosh. All that stuff. It's just all over, isn't it? All right, that's all you need to do today. Your three details, one, two, three. We'll finish up with our conclusion tomorrow.